Infinity Kingdom implemented a ton of changes with patch 1.2 and in this video we're going to be going over everything. What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today we have a lot of stuff to talk about here in Infinity Kingdom. First off, cheers. Now patch 1.2 has a new politics system that we're going to be going over. They upgraded the king system as well. They also implemented forbidden zone contracts during the contention of relics events. And there's a ton of new technology changes to tower of knowledge skills, the shadow dragon, a bunch of other stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, the first thing we're going to be talking about is the new politics system. Now this system has kind of already been in the game, but they've streamlined it and made this a, a huge quality of life upgrade, which is really, really good. I was hoping that they would do this honestly um if you click on the building across from your wall you can see it here this little glowing uh, blue structure you click on that statue and you'll be able to see everybody in your kingdom that is currently occupying a king role governor role or mayor role for particular cities the reason that this is a really nice improvement and a quality of life upgrade is because now you can see all the buffs for all the cities and who is currently the mayor of that city now this was you know before this system was implemented you actually had to go into the alliance thing here and you go into territory and then you could see the different coordinates for all your different cities and so we can go over and click the coordinate for allison and the game will load and it'll bring you over here and then you click on it and then boom okay so that's kind of how it used to be and you could still find more information out doing that as well but now it's way 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 easier you don't have to go through all of these loading screens and all that all that stuff it's kind of amazing how we just click here and boom now we can see right here on the right allison you click on that and you can see who's there and what their buff is which is really really nice now the next thing we're going to talk about is the king system now the king has a lot more power now with this new system implemented into infinity kingdom now if you come over to the world heart you tap on it you tap on the little crown here they implemented official positions orders and previous king history kings can also give out rewards to players that participate rather strongly in the contention of relics event these gifts basically give you some free gems some speed ups some resources things like that the gift of warriors looks like it's the best one which gives you five 500 gems, a bunch of food, wood, stone, iron, 10 hours of speed ups, all that stuff is really nice. I actually don't know why this little chest icon looks not as cool as this chest icon. I think maybe these are backwards. I'm not sure. Now the king also has the ability to control the migration limitations for your kingdom or your server. Now, if there's players that are migrating in, you, the king can limit that to a million power, two million power, no limit. Everybody can just come in. And this sort of keeps things a little bit more under control for the kingdom. We also have the royal orders here. Some of these are really powerful when they're issued by the king. This one says Warhorn increases damage by five percent when a lord from your kingdom is fighting in areas occupied by your kingdom bounty hunt lords from your kingdom will deal five percent more damage to gnome units in areas occupied by your kingdom so you can see stuff like this is really really powerful and it's a huge a buff for the kingdom that does actually control the world heart which is really really cool the official positions is also really interesting here you can see prime minister minister of treasury minister of defense these provide really substantial buffs here right like prime minister gains 10 percent training and series wounded healing speed which is crazy 10% resource production and gold production a lot of this stuff is awesome now there's also ways to punish players who are going against the will of the king or the kingdom so you can see treacher clown footman hall boy valet building upgrade speed decreased by 10% like these are substantial substantial negative effects that they can implement uh, on other players so whoever is the king in a particular server they really have to be a trusted member of that community because otherwise you could really deal serious damage to players progression right like this is some of these are really bad dwelling production speed in decreased by 20 percent dwellings are how you get gold right that's crazy gathering speed decreased by 20 percent. these are huge debuffs these are huge debuffs so again if you are if you earn one of these you are uh you are in trouble right 20 20 percent march speed reduction like you are slowed down like crazy so the king has a lot more power here now in your server now there's also a feature called forbidden zone contracts which i can throw up here on the screen this is actually a screenshot because this event is not happening right now at the time of recording but during the contention of relics of event you can either take personal contracts for yourself or your alliance can take alliance contracts and if you do end up completing these contracts either for yourself or as an entire alliance you're going to get a lot of different rewards here as you can see there is resources and valor marks now these valor marks can be used in the mysterious shop during the contention of relics event and you can use those marks to get things like avatar frames and stuff like that so that'll be really cool i can't wait to see that implemented into my kingdom now another big change is over here in the academy if you tap on research and 
and you go over to your troop technology you can see here there are some new things we see things like frontal strike spear dance mounted charge enhanced crossbows and if you tap on these you'll see that these give really 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 powerful buffs to particular troop types now apparently these were added to increase the diversity of battles so really this is going to emphasize the difference between shieldmen cavalry spearmen and bowmen because before this right you were really just focusing on your element does your element beat their element right that was really the biggest uh, the biggest part of the strategy you know honestly uh, but now you get really powerful buffs to particular troop types and so there's an advantage of having that same troop type for both or as many of the units in your armies as you can now of course ultimately you're going to go through and finish all of these when you come to the end game but you're gonna get some really powerful stuff here right like shield block is the shieldman use full strength to raise the shield and has a probability to resist an attack like just literally not even take damage so I think what that's going to do is provide again some diversity to the differences between the troop types right obviously shieldman with a skill like this is going to be a bit more tanky than you know spearmen or uh cavalry or bowmen or things like that I mean looking at something like double shot right it says an advanced forgotten archery technique shooting two arrows in a row there's a probability of an additional normal attack right so where if you look at shield block this is not taking a normal attack this is dealing two normal attacks right so you can see the difference between those two troop types they're not just stats on a battlefield they actually function differently now because of some of these new technologies and it's going to be interesting to see how this actually influences the game when it comes to late game so it looks like the archers the bowmen are going to probably deal a lot of like spike damage right i mean they have a chance of just doing two normal attacks like that's double damage lance thrust over here for cavalry has a chance to stun the enemy for three seconds that seems really powerful right three seconds done right if we look at spear swipe it says spearmen wield de deadly spears and have a probability to attack all enemies in the horizontal area in front of them so this is going to be like an aoe right so potentially spears will be more of an aoe shield block more tanky cavalry might be a little bit more supportive stunning you know things like that and then uh, bowmen are going to be dealing extra damage right they're going to have those high damage spikes right now pretty much every troop uh, composition is going to have bowmen right because you have two back row but how you build that front row is going to be really interesting now and again we we can go through there's other things they added here rock steady it says substantial increase in hp for shieldmen high and mighty gives a substantial increase in hp for spearmen and so on and so forth as you can see there um we also come over here you see invulnerable this is going to be a huge defense increase uh iron will whip and spur archer armor and then over here like we showed before frontal strikes so this is going to be attack spear dance mounted charge so you can see with these new implemented technologies there's massive uh spikes in the stats as well as how these different units perform in finally they did adjust a few things here we talked about before they adjusted some of the skills here in the tower of knowledge so it's important for you guys to come in here and check this out I actually don't have a change log as to what exactly was adjusted here so I don't know what things were buffed or nerfed or potentially added here later down the line I'm not entirely sure but if you have invested in particular skills pretty heavily you should probably go in there and check to see did these things change are they better or worse than they were before it could have a positive or negative impact on some of the troops that you already built and if you didn't know that this was changed then you might see some changes without realizing what exactly happened like why am I doing better why am I doing worse it could be because your skills were changed now they also adjusted the skills here for Melanthios the shadow dragon I also don't have a change log here as to what exactly is different from before to now but they did adjust the skills here of the shadow dragon this is definitely one of the most powerful dragons in the game because you need such a high VIP level just to be able to obtain this particular dragon dealing a ton of true damage to a random enemy inflicting mental decay when any unit in the battlefield receives damage targets with mental decay receive 10% of that damage which is just absolutely nuts the second skill goes all the way up to a 90% chance of inflicting a silence on three units leaving them unable to gain energy for eight seconds absolutely debilitating for pretty much anybody so really strong, strong stuff here really strong stuff force of evil increases crit rate by 30 percent upwards of 30 percent and dodge rate by upwards of 30 percent when the hp of shadow immortals is higher than 60 percent the dealt damage will increase by 15 percent so again i don't know exactly what was adjusted here whether this is nerfed or buffed but this dragon certainly is a very very powerful dragon so if you're one of the very few who actually has this 
this dragon go in and check to see what was changed and if it's performing better or worse than before with all that being said guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it's quick and it's the best way to support this content subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video comment down below your favorite changes that came in patch 1.2 all this stuff is really big and it makes me excited to see what's going to come next as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord and facebook in particular my discord channel does have a huge list of free redemption codes for you for this game you go in here you click redeem there's a whole ton of free codes where you can get hundreds and hundreds of free gems speed ups resources all that stuff go ahead join my discord check out those codes it's really important and if you're new to this channel use code omniarch it's going to get you some free stuff of course if you haven't downloaded infinity kingdom and yet you're watching a patch note video make sure you download the game with my link in the description below it does support the channel a ton and as always guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace